בטווח. שבוע טוב. שבוע טוב. Did you, uh, did, you, uh, did you ever go to the, the Great Barrier Reef? Did you go up no, there? No, it wasn't part of the cruise. No, they did, some they did. people, uh, it was enough. It was three weeks already. It was too much to go again. Oh. I hear it's amazing. It was just... We went there many years ago. It was, it was fantastic. Is there a Chabad there? We went, we went to the we went boat out there. We went diving into the... You went diving? The, Yeah, we went diving into wow. the, yeah, the, all the, what do you call it? The, um, yeah, the coral reef. The, the, the reefs. Yeah, the reefs, yeah. Oh, man, there was something else, yeah. Well, no, I didn't do that. Way out, yeah. That's, uh, it's, uh, to go there is really, uh, yeah. All right. Did you go to, uh, in Australia, did you go to the Ayers Rock? No, no, we just went to Melbourne and Sydney. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. We've only spent like three, three or four days in Australia. Uh, Most of it was uh, New Zealand and on the ship. Well, you went? You went to Ayers Rock? Went to Ayers Rock, yeah. Like, it's, it's the middle of no place. How long did it take you to get did, flew there? I did, I did climb it up, though, but it you, was just you, too hard. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to climb anymore. It's like holy yeah. for, the, for the Aborigines. Yeah. Was, yeah. Did you fly there? You must have flown there because it's very far. Yeah. Yeah, and we uh, we didn't go to the other side of the of Australia. The like Perth, Perth? Perth, Perth is like another another part of the Australia. It's completely separate. We didn't go there. Yeah, did you right. go to Perth? Did you go to Perth? No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next time, next week. Yes, yes. In in uh, in uh, uh, what do you call? It? Uh, you saw you saw that big. Uh, Uh, what do you call it? in um, uh, not a, you know in Australia what do you call that big the opera house the opera house opera house yeah yeah beautiful yeah that was beautiful 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 yeah yeah when when they built it they weren't so crazy about it at, at the beginning yeah it's funny because it's just so beautiful and the bridge people climb up the bridge you know You, you, you can climb the bridge. You have to pay $300 to climb the bridge. Oh, is that what it is? You have to pay $300. Bucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should pay you to climb it. Yeah. I know. You have to pay three. I, no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very impressive. Very impressive city. Yeah. It was a wonderful trip. And my wife says next time we're going to like explore the U.S. We're going to go to like... Uh, The, um, uh, Yellowstone and all those parks we never went. Well, now you got to go. Now's the time. You got the time now. Yeah. The Canadian Rockies. You've done that? You've been to the Canadian Rockies and Banff and all those places? Uh, uh. So uh, do we have the, the share tonight or is tomorrow night? Did he change it? Huh? Tomorrow night, eight o'clock, no? I know, but how about tonight? It is 7.30 tonight. He said, but it's 7.33 already. I don't know where he is. What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let me get my Gomorrah. Yeah. Shavuot Tov. Hi, George. Hi, Lazar. Hi, Harry.
Okay, we're on uh, Chavav, 26. Uh, tomorrow, tonight, there's a funeral for uh, Mrs. Weiss, Stan Weiss's mother, charged Phil at 8.30. So we're not going to have the Navi Shir tonight. We're going to have it tomorrow at 8 p.m. And the Daf Yom will be at 7.30 tomorrow. I hope that fits everybody's schedule. Um, can you, everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay, we're on Chav Vav Amad Aleph. So is the only, we, we learned that by Nazir, if a, somebody made a, somebody designated money, but had not designated for specific korbonos, just general money, and then somebody annulled the nedir. So we said, if the money is undesignated, all the money can go for donative korbonos, even though there's chattis money sort of in there. So the Gemara wants to say that that's not the only case, because he wanted to say that the only case where that exists is by Nazir. Gemara says, no, Atanya, Shachavi Kirin Tibetoira, Shifrishu Mos Likinayan. That if somebody, for example, was a Metzora or a woman was a Yoledes, gave birth, and they have to bring, in that case, it's a sliding scale Corbin. It depends on your financial status. If you're wealthy, you have to bring an animal. If you're less wealthy, you bring a pair of birds. If you're poor, you bring a mincha, flower. So let's say a person designated money for birds because his financial status was not that great. And then he became wealthy. If he now wants to use that money and, and buy an animal, like a, like a, like a cow or a sheep, yavi. if he wants to bring an olas behema, If he wants to bring a behema as an ola, also he can bring. Now, what about mace? He died. And he had this pile of money that he had designated, but he had not designated specifically for any korbonis. It was susumi. The din is you pull in the You could put it in the community chest box where in the base of Midish they bought donative offerings. Even though there's a money there. So that's so it sounds like the same din as Nazir. <coughs> it says, you're right. It works both by the Nazir and by pairs of birds. And to show you that we don't hold like the fine grace. Somebody had eaten Chaylev, or eaten dam, b'shogeg. So there's a chiyu that you have to bring a korban chattis. The omar hari alai ola. Now, besides the chattis, he takes a donative offering and says, I want to also bring an ola. V'hifrish mos. And he set aside mos, money. The omar hari elu l'choy basi. This money is for my obligations. Now, it's not clear. Is he saying that this money is going to go for the chattis or the ola? So, So you see, this price is not like what we learned. He's not allowed to bring a chattis, but it's unclear. If he wants to go to the loyavi. But you see right away that this price, so that's la fuke. That this, we, 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 we this Tana doesn't hold like what we, like the other Tana that said that if you have undesignated money, even if there's a chattis part of it in it, normally that goes for Yama Melach, in, the, in, in he held you could buy Nadava, this Tana holds you can't. And not only that, Mace, Vahayulamos Tumim, he died with this undesignated pile of money. You got to dump the money in the Dead Sea. Yelchul Yama Melach. Okay. Om Ravashi. Hada Amit Mufarashin law, that which we said, that if you didn't have undesignated money, 
but you had some money for a chattis and some money for an ola and some money for a shlomi. That's called mifurashim. That means the Nazar had separated the money for the individual karbonis. And we said that there, the money for a chattis, if his nether got annulled, has to be dumped into the Yabamela. Lo tema. Don't say that that case exists. The Omer Edel Chatosi Ve'Edel Los Ve'Edel Shlomi. It's not only in the case where he says, this money is for my Chatos, this is for my Ola, this is for Shlomi. Ela. Afilu Omer Edel Chatosi Uloi Losi Ule Shlomi, which is more a general statement. He didn't sort of separate between the words Ela, Ela, Ela. They're still considered Mifu Roshinein. And they're not judged like Ma'ostumim, where you'd be able to use all the money for donative offerings. The Ikidi Amri, other people learn, Amra Varfi, Lo Tema the Amri, El Lachatosi, Los of Shlami. Don't tell me that the Din of Mufuroshim exists only if he used the words, El Lachatosi, Los of Shlami, El Afilo Amar, El Lachoyvasi. That Nazir has to bring a chattis, an ola, and a shlami. And he designates money and he says, this money goes for my obligations? That's already like mefurashim. It's already as if he designated this hundred dollars for a chattis, this hundred dollars for an ola, this hundred dollars for shlami. That's a little bit of a chiddish. So what's considered stumim? Stumim only if he designated money didn't say a thing. Mishnah. No, excuse me. Continue. Amarov. Hadamar Mostumim Yiplunadov. That which we said that an undesignated pile of money. And then the, the nether was annulled. What do you do with the money? All the money could be used to buy donative offerings. You don't have to throw any money away into the Dead Sea, even though there's some chattis money there. That we learned is a special din by Nazir. That which we said most of them in If, for example, a hundred dollars, which is let's say the value of a chattis, somehow gets separated from that pile, so now it's considered as if it's mifurashim, and you cannot use all the money for nadova. The amount for an Ola, you can use for an Ola. The amount for a Shlomim, you have to use for a Shlomim. It's only even for one day. And the and that $100 that was, the value of a Chattis has to be dumped into the Yamamel. Tanya Kabasa de Rovo. There's a Bryce like Rovo. Elu Lechatosi. If you have a pile of money and you say, this is for my Chattis and the rest is for my other obligations as an Aziris, so again, it's as if you have mifurashi money. The, the value of the chattis has to go to the Dead Sea. The hashar, you have to divide. Half goes for the ola, half goes for the shlamim. Moyalin bekulon, you're chayiv me'ila. If you use all the money, you'd be chayiv me'ila, you're not allowed to be benefit from hegdish. But let's say you only used half the money. So ain't moyal in the mikdash because you could always say that which he used was really designated for the shlomim, and the shlomim you're allowed to benefit from. There's no meila for a shlomim after you do zrika sadam. Elu la olasi. If you say this is a, this amount is for my ola, the hashar l'shan is irusi. So deme ola yavi oila moyal in band. The money that has been designated for an ola, you have to you can use to buy another ola, and you be chayv meila because an ola, you're not you're never allowed to use it. The remainder could be used to buy donative offerings. Umoy alan bikulan. If you use the whole pile of money, you'd have mila, because there's chatas money in there. But if you only use part of it, you can't because you can always say. The part that I used really was the shlamim part. And a shlamim I'm allowed to use. I'm allowed to benefit personally from a shlamim because I'm allowed to eat a shlamim after Zrika Satan. 
Amra with Amara. That which we said, there's a difference between designated money and undesignated money. And we said if it's undesignated and the, the nether was annulled, you could use all the money for donative offerings. If you had designated money for each three korbonos, the chattis has to get dumped into the Dead Sea. The other two you can use. That's only with money. If you separated a three different kinds of animals, each animal being specific for the kind of Corbin. So for example, a Corbin Chattis always has to be female, either a sheep or a goat. So if he designated a female sheep, an Ola always has to be a male. So let's say they designated a male. And then the Shlomim was a ram, at least two years old. So it's clear from the types of animals he selected that if he died, the din is, you have to follow whatever the Corbin is. Chattis, Shemesu Balea, you have to allow it to die. You have to put it in an igloo. You don't feed it food and water and it dies by itself. You don't kill it, but you allow it to die. The shlamim animal can be offered as a shlamim, but it, you can only eat it for one day like a regular nozer shlamim, and it doesn't require bread. And the ola gets to be offered like an ola. That which you just said, that if you designated animals, you can't you have to treat them each like the individual Corbin. That's only if it's an unblemished animal, which would be Roy to be put on the Mizbeach. Avabalas Mum, let's say he designated three animals, each one of them had a Mum. Well, it's obviously he's designating asset to sell, which he's going to take the money and buy Corbonus with. You cannot take a Bal Mum animal, put on the Mizbeach. So it's treated arei kestuma, and therefore that's a that's a kula, it's a leniency. If the person died, the estate can sell the animals, take all the money, and use it for nadava. Aval naska, but let's say he designated a gold bar or a silver bar, then that's considered like mefureshes. Let's say he designated three gold bars. But Rav Nachman Yitzchak Rafilu Naska would be considered, no, undesignated money. Aval Svar Koiwars. But let's say you have a pile of wooden beams and you piled up three different piles. So that's considered like most Mufuroshos. Why? It's a special halacha. Mo'os velo behema. Undesignated money, but not an animal. And velo naska. And not a gold bar. But mo'os velo savra? Why should we reject wooden beams? I mean, wooden beams should be considered like any asset that you could sell. Elameata, would you say Mosvala Ofos? What if I designated birds that I couldn't, that would be considered Mefurashos? Maybe you'll tell me, yes, it's considered Mefurashos. There's a din by birds. Birds are not designated. There are only two korbonos that you can bring from birds, Chatas and Enola. The bird is killed through Malika. The Kohen would use his thumbnail from the back of his neck and, and split the neck with his thumbnail. That's called Malika. And the Echata Sa'of and an Ola Sa'of, the Avoda is different. One you smear, one you sprinkle. The, the, how you do the Echata Sa'of and Ola Sa'of is different. So you only know 
Ain't Akinin Misparshos. You don't know what type of Corbin it is. Ella, Ib Lakichas Bailin. When the Bailin go to the bird market and they buy it, they say, Are Zu Ola. Then it becomes an Ola. Or, I Basias Koyin. Or when the koyin actually is brought to the koyin undesignated. But then at the time that the koyin does whatever the avoda is, we see whether it's an all or a khatas. So in general, if you buy a pair of birds, it's considered stumim. So why wouldn't a pair of birds can be considered, or why wouldn't this, the, the, the beams of, of wood that you're going to use for construction we be considered like birds, stumis? But the halacha is, we learned that money is only undesigned when it's money. And now it comes out from a chizda, the birds are considered undesignated. And maybe a behemoth, and maybe a gold bar, and maybe a pile of wood would also be considered undesignated. That's the shiloh that we're left with. And the Gemara is going to have to resolve it, and we're going to resolve it tomorrow on Dav Chavzai. Okay, George. How, how, how the Gemara, the Gemara said the, this week, George. The Gemara, the Gemara said before you have to spend all the money to be Kamoel. That's that's very unusual because we know Meila mm -hmm. is even the smallest piece, the smallest no, amount. What, no, what it meant is like this: if you have you have a thousand dollars that have been designated to purchase the Chattas, the Ola, and the Shlomi. You went to a jewelry store and you spent the whole $1,000 for a ring. So there you're going to be Moyel. But if I only spent $500, I'm not Moyel because I could say, you know what, the $500, that's the Shlomi. And I'm, there's no Mila by Shlomi. That's what it means, spend all of it or spend part of it. If you spend part of it, you can always claim the part that I spent was for the shlomim, and there's no meila by shlomim. But if it's I, not, but, but I if see. I spend the whole thousand bucks, uh -huh. there's chatas and ola money there, and I'm moil in chatas and ola because uh -huh. an, an ola is offered completely lashem. <coughs> That's what the gemara meant. Because normally meila is even the smallest amount, you know. Yeah, but 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 that's what's talking. But but shlomim. <laughs> There's no after <coughs> Saddam, there's no Meila by, by Shlomo. Uh, very good. George? Sure. Yes, sir. We missed you this week a few days. Thank you. I, I know. I figured I had... you were on vacation. No, no, no. <laughs> Thanks. I, we had you in good mind. Please. Okay, Thank so you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.